Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. We have the judgment card out here first. Somebody's getting released from something. Somebody's being freed, possibly. Somebody could be under judgment for something. What does it say? Seven of Sword, exactly. Oh shit, somebody tried to get out of something. Somebody tried to get away with something. It's almost like somebody, somebody does not want to let somebody go or somebody does not I can't imagine somebody that does not want to leave. That's that's not it, but I have to throw that out there. It's like it's giving me the energy of like either somebody that does not want you to be released, somebody that does not want to free you. They don't want to free your soul. They don't want you to feel free. They're trying to do things to stop you from being free. That's the energy that I'm seeing here. It's like somebody's trying to stop what is occurring or what is about to occur. occur. You have the seven of cups here. It really feels like somebody is, you got the seven of cups and the seven of swords here. Okay. It just really feels like somebody's trying to use manipulations. Somebody's trying to be very smart. They're trying to use delusion or spells or there's some type of drug or wait a minute, seven of swords and seven of cup. And I'm talking about drugs. It's almost like somebody, I almost feel like somebody's trying to put drugs in something. Like, I don't know if it's food or drink. It's like somebody wants to stop you from being released. To be honest, in my mind's eye, I felt the energy of somebody that wants you to fail like a drug test or something like that. Like I'm seeing something like that too. I don't know why that just came across my mind. But it's just making me feel like somebody's somebody's trying to get you in trouble with something like they're trying to put something in your system to make sure that you can't be freed. Oh, my God. I don't know why the hell I saw that you got the five of Pentacles here. Yeah, somebody wants you to lose your job. The full card. You see that somebody does not. They want you to go the other way. You see how this is going up. But then this person is going down like the full card is a good card because it is something new, but it's unknown. And from the direction that this is going, this is not a good direction that somebody wants you to go. They see where you are meant to go and they want to change that. They want you to go another direction here. OK, but we have temperance energy here. OK, oh, that moved a little bit. Let me see what that is. You got the emperor here. It's like I feel the energy of somebody trying to control an angel. Or this is an angel that needs to take control over their life. Okay? Because this person right here is leading you down the wrong road here. I don't know what the hell. It's like they don't want you to fly. They don't want you to have your wings. They don't want you to be free. So somebody here is trying to do something very shysty. Okay? They're trying to do something here. To try to like make you believe in them emotionally. And it's like they're trying to hurt you in some kind of way. They're trying to hurt your body or they're trying to hurt your money. They're trying to bring your value down. It's like I feel the energy of somebody that's putting something in food, man. And they're like, it's almost like if your job drug tests you or something, they want you to lose your job or something like that. Or they want you to only... Like if you're trying to leave or you're trying to save money, I'm trying to tell you, this is somebody that is like, you would never think that this, this person would do this. You would never think this person is doing this. We got Sagittarius energy. We got Aries energy. Okay. This is ridiculous here. We got the third house of communication. We got Gemini, which is very comfortable there. And we have the North Node. There's something like, what kind of communication is this? Gemini energy is also the lovers in um, tarot. 
So it's like it's it could be some type of partnership that's coming or maybe they don't want you talking to somebody or they don't want you to to rise like um, how can I say they don't want your words to matter or they don't want you to get a better position where you have some type of uh, authority or something like that. It's something like that. It's weird. Like it doesn't have to be somebody putting something in your food. But I felt that energy. I felt it's somebody that's trying to get you in trouble with drugs or something like that. Okay. It doesn't have to be that. But please, like for somebody, that's for somebody. This, this, if it's not that, if it's not somebody putting something in food, it's something that they're doing where they know that you trust them, but it's going to backfire. You know, it's like they're trying to trap you. They're trying to put you in a situation right now so that when you try to free yourself, you're going to have issues. Okay. 100%. You're going to have issues with leaving if you try to leave like y'all for real for real for real for real for real this is a person like let's say you're in a relationship and like you have kids or something like that this is the type of person that will start putting drugs or something in your food so that like oh you want to leave oh well, yeah. They're not going to let you do this when you got all these drugs in your system or you got this or you got that. They're going to find this and you're going to be like, oh, I haven't taken no drugs and I haven't done this. And they're going to be like, OK, and they're probably not even going to tell you, to be honest, because that would mess up the whole plan. Right. I'm telling you, this is a person that like they're trying to like be a step ahead of the game. They're trying to be a few steps ahead of the game. Like it's a serious warning for somebody. What is this card that come out? You got the page of pentacles here. You see, I feel like somebody wants to leave. Somebody wants to like get on a new journey. They want to go another way. They want to go another route. Okay. It could even involve a child here with this page of pentacles. You got the knight of cups here. It's almost like I feel like somebody may want to start a new relationship or somebody. It's like you want to you want to start pursuing or you want to give your time, your energy to a new relationship or something like that. Or a new career, a new uh, a new level in your career, a new uh, title or something like that. It's like somebody does not want you to have it. You got the emperor. You get the emperor twice out here. The emperor does not want you to have it. The emperor thinks that they control you. They think that they are your glass ceiling or they are the walls that's built around you. But it's like you have to exert your energy like, oh my God, and this emperor is falling right on top of the seven of cups. This person is delusional, man. This person really thinks that they control the outcome of your life. They really think that you want something new. No, you can't have it. That's how they're acting. You got the five of cups here, right on top of the five of pentacles. Like this person does not want to let you go. This person will do anything and say anything for you to believe them. Okay. They will say anything. It's almost like, I feel like it's a new person here and this person is hurt. Like emotionally, this person is hurt because they feel like they don't have your heart. So they're doing things to try to prevent you from leaving or to try to make something harder for you to leave. It's like I get the energy of like somebody's trying to frame somebody or some shit because they don't like something. It's like a personal thing. Then you got the Queen of Swords here. It's very vindictive energy here. Like someone wants to leave, someone wants a divorce, and somebody knows they want a divorce. The Queen of Sword is divorcee, okay? She is divorced. She don't she don't have time for it. She has time for the facts. Okay? I'm not trying to say that a Queen of Sword can't be married, but this Queen of Sword right here is fed up with some shit right here. This Queen of Sword right here is very cutting. Okay? What is this at the bottom? You got the seven of wands here. I'm telling you, this person is preventing you from leaving. This person is exerting their energy to keep you in your position where you are. They do not want you rising above anything. 
They know that you are an emperor too, or they know that you have the capability to control your life and they don't want you to control your life. They want to have control over your life. And if they ha if they can't have control, you know, you know how crazy people are when they can't control your life. You have the chariot. I told you somebody wants to go to a higher position. Somebody wants better pay or better something, better situation, better living situation, better money, better like you got to give me a better title. You got to give me the office with the window. You got to actually, you know, I need the chair with the cushion, some shit like that. You get what I'm saying? They don't want you to have that. They do not want you to have that. This person is very controlling over somebody's like, like this person treats you like a prisoner and you're not. It's like they don't want you to have too much authority. You got the three of pentacles. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is a better job, a better position, even a better team. Could be a better family. You want a better living situation. It's something like that, man. It's like the quality. It's something about quality that's not, it's not up to par. You can't give me page of pentacles energy. I'm not taking it. You get what I'm saying? It's something that's not up to par. I don't know if somebody's broke. I don't know if somebody ain't got no money. I don't know if somebody's not getting paid enough. I don't know if somebody's not being treated like what they feel that they are on the inside. It's like somebody treats somebody very small and somebody wants to leave. Somebody's actually being released. You got the emperor three times in this reading. Three times. You got the emperor on top of the emperor. Except these two emperors is on top of the seven of cups. It's something here that's very delusional. I'm getting that energy like it can't be two emperors in the house. Like somebody's got, like, I'm, if it's that kind of thing, well, somebody got to leave, right? It's like, it's weird. It's like a battle or something like they know that you have the capability to control your own life, but they would rather you stay subservient to them, except there can't be two emperors in the same house. It can't be two emperors in the same kingdom. I mean, unless these two people are together, that's the only way. In which case it still feels competitive. Like, even if this was two men together, if it was two women together, still, it can't be like, this is two rams. This is Aries energy. Do you know what rams do? They do this. <laughs> they fucking do this all day. This is, that's what they do until one of them can't take it no damn more. And that's what I'm seeing with somebody. They would rather do this than to be like, okay, let me just let you go about your business and I will go about my business. Somebody doesn't want you to do that. They want to have control over you. Even if they got to do this, I'm not going to do this no more. Okay, y'all. Even if they got to do that, they'd rather just still have you bumping heads, keeping you on some type of level that you're not meant to be on no more. You're rising above it. You're ascending. There's nothing they can do about it. This judgment card is major arcana. There is nothing that they can do about this. This is from the universe. Somebody has paid their dues and it's time for you to go. It's time for you to be released. And this person does not want that to be so. They don't want it. Four of cups here. Somebody is very detached from their emotions here. Like just very detached. Okay. Or they're unaware of something or they're trying not to be aware of something or they're ignoring something. They're trying to look past something. Like, but I'm getting the energy of somebody that's like, they're bored. Like, why are you, why are you trying to keep somebody that's not happy? Why are you trying to make somebody a slave? There's somebody here like that, man. And it's like this third house in Gemini and the North Node. It's like, I feel like somebody's getting smarter. Somebody's learning. Somebody is asserting their voice. And it's like, it's causing that head bump. And it's three emperors in this reading. That shit don't even make no sense. This is too much head bumping right here. You got the page of wands here. Like, I feel like somebody's trying to hold off on going on this adventure. I feel like somebody's trying to hold off on, let's say, leaving. But I really, man, I don't think this queen of sword is going to be able to take it. I don't know who this queen of sword is. It could be you. It could be the other person. But it's it's going to kick in like somebody's going to like you leaving is going to turn this person into like the Queen of Sword or you're going to have to turn into the Queen of Sword in order to leave. Either way, like for real, it's two emperors. Nobody's going to back down. Nobody's going to back down. But one person will be leaving, though. 
that's the thing. This person does not want that to be an outcome. They don't want that to be a possibility. They don't want that to happen. But it's going to happen. You can't stay a prisoner. Look at that. You want to, somebody going to break through them fucking barriers. Page of wands, eight of wands. They're going to break through. They're going to go. Like it's going to, it's, I feel like it's even going to speed some shit up. Like trying to stop somebody or trying to, like I'm, I'm seeing systematically, like the Queen of Swords is very smart. So they'll do some shit and it, it, that shit will catch you later. You get what I'm saying? Like they'll do some legal shit too. They could even know about something with legal and, you know, it could be something like that. But I feel like somebody wants to do something quickly. They want to go on this adventure. They want to go like it's time to go. What's this at the bottom? The sun card. Like, come on, y'all. Like, it's time to go. Somebody's like preventing you from living your best life, period. That's just what it is. That's what I see here. Like, you cannot stop an emperor from leaving. I know this person is, you know, they feel like they run shit, but like you don't control nobody's life. You don't control nobody's life. Not no emperor. This person, you may be somebody that just rose to this level, male or, male or female. You may be somebody that just rose to this level. If you grew some balls, you know what I'm saying? You got balls now. Like, it's all good. You got to go about your business. You or Unless you want to keep bumping heads with this person, it's always going to be that. Because how can I say this? Like, when you get to a certain level where you see somebody's bullshit and you just can't take it no more and you start calling them out, yeah. Okay? that's It's going to be two emperors there. OK, and if they're if they need to be called out, they're not a good leader. I mean, I'm not saying it like that. I'm Let me rephrase. If it's getting to this point, OK, where there is one person doing something that's wrong and it's one person that's noticing it and they're calling it out, it will always be a constant headbutting. These two energies cannot be in the same energy, the same room, the same anything. It could be a boss that is wrong. And maybe you're not on boss level. Maybe you're going for their job. Maybe you're gunning for their job. Maybe you are in line for their job. Maybe you really do have a chance. Maybe this person is about to be out the door. You don't even know it, but this person wants to keep shit exactly the same way that it is, right or wrong. Regardless if you like it or not, regardless if you're happy, none of that shit matters to them. What matters to them is control and exerting their will, okay? And as a person that is growing into that, that's what matters to you too. Except one of y'all is wrong. Do you get what I'm saying? One of these emperors is about to be knocked off the throne. And they're trying to prevent it. That's it. I mean, it's, I don't know how to say it no other way. If you rise above them, then they're not the emperor no more. Not in their kingdom. That's why somebody has to go. Somebody got to go. One, I, I really think that it's this emperor that the one that's current, I really think they're about to, they're about to be asked to leave or they're about to get fired or some shit. It's about to be something like that. Because they're definitely trying to prevent it. They're definitely trying to hold their spot. You got the sun card here. Yeah, this is your job. You see chariot three of pentacles. This is your job. God, that was a confirmation. Damn. My damn stomach is doing flips right now. You got the nine of cups here. Look at that. This is your job, period. Period. This person's trying to frame you. This person is systematically trying to do some shit so you don't get the position that they're losing. They just don't want you to have it. They don't give a fuck who get it. They just don't want you to have it. It's something about you, okay? They don't like this shit right here. You see that temperance energy? They don't like this shit. They do not like this. Oh, you nice... Oh, you kind. Oh, you're so balanced. Oh, people love you. They don't like that shit. They don't see that as power. They see power as like, I like the fact that you don't like me because then it's easier for me to tell you what to do. That's what they like. But you're not like that. You're a boss and you have beautiful qualities. You have angelic qualities. You're very balanced. You're very fair. You get what I'm saying? This position is for you. This release, this freedom is for you. It's not for them. They're getting released in a whole nother direction, a whole nother way. And they don't like it. They don't like it. They don't like it. They hate it. They hate the fact that you are about to be running the shit. Ooh, they hate that shit so bad. <sighs> Somebody is like, I can't stand that damn earth angel. I can't stand.
stand that damn earth angel. Ooh, they think they so perfect. They think they miss motherfucking perfect over here. Trying to take my job? You're not going to take my job? Like somebody's going crazy. Somebody's going crazy. They ready to do anything. Look at that. Eight of sword. They'll do anything. This person is stuck in their ways. They're not going to change. And you're about to be handed this. You're about to look at that. The full card just came out again. Like this is set in stone. Like is the energy really somebody... <laughs> You might as well get ready for this freedom. I know it might be a challenge, but somebody need to keep their eyes open. Like, you know this person is out the door. You you know this person is out the door, and you know somebody is about to replace them. You know it. You know it. You know it. You know it. Somebody is out the door. Somebody's about to get that freedom. You got divine timing, and you got composure. Okay? So definitely keep your composure. You don't have to do nothing. You are an emperor. You will be running the business. You will be running something. I don't know if it's a business, a family. You, I don't know if it's something with custody or something like that. This person is not going to get what they think they're going to get. And they're not going to go where they think they're going to go. And they're not going to stop you like how they think they're going to stop you. They're not going to stop you. What's going to happen is you are going to take over. You will be crowned. Okay? You will be the one that is more or less, say, responsible. You will be the one that has better work ethics. You will be the one. I don't care if it's court. The The judge is going to say you are better to, you know, let's say if it's kids involved, you're better to take care of the children. You have a better situation going on. You have a better head on your shoulders. It's something like that. Okay? Please take it how it resonates, but I'm going to leave it right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I really, really appreciate it because it's how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.